you can call it label. So, um, I grew up in Thailand. Uh, I actually assigned this by training. Uh, I worked years and years in hospital and I went to do my MBA and I worked in the pharmaceuticals industry. Uh, I was really happy, uh, but I felt like something was missing. Uh, I wasn't fulfilled, so one day I decided to start a, a business. So, because I did not come from design school, yes, I have to be creative, but when I look into things, I think business need to solve a problem. And I think every entrepreneur is on the journey to make a difference. And I'm not different from those people. So when you start the business, my idea is I need to solve the shopping experience. It need to be innovative, it need to be easy, it need to be simple. We are not looking into giving you the cheapest product because how can you give high quality product with the cheaper price? We are not looking to giving you the cheaper price, but we're looking to the highest quality and a price that's most impact to the customer. So we recreate the experience in such a way that we are able to give you the best possible product. We usually say that we give you Ferrari at the price of Lexus. Apparently in 2018, if you get the suit custom made, you know, with the name embroidered on the inside and then you choose the detail, you create something for that, it's no longer unique. So I have a better idea. What if I integrate an art piece on the inside of the suit? So people, it's not the idea where it's so new, we've been done for 10, if not 100 years. But for us, it's not a design. We are giving the art piece on the inside of the jacket. What I mean by that is, we ask a given right from a local mentor artist, or the art piece from a patient who has undergone mental health therapy. We use the art piece and put on the inside. One thing is really funny because when the piece is on the inside, you know that it's connect with your body as one. My job is to explain the story of the artist to my customer. And we numbered every, every, every single piece. Like this one is a painting from the patient of mental health. I've asked his permission to, hit, to duplicate his copy only 10. We register every single piece and we will give the name to the artist to let them know this is a piece number and they could connect with them in the later on and my customer would be an organic ambassador who talk about the story. That's, on, that's not the visibility that we try to give. We give a connection, we give a relationship. And in the art world where everyone asks everything for free now, I'm not from those school, we donate 10% of proceeds to go back to the artist. I'm creating something very unique. Suit is the expression of the customer is part of the fashion. But yes, we can make the fashion to be more than just a piece of clothes. The emotion has been carrying inside the jacket. They feel really special, it's one of the kind. And at the same time, by not doing anything extra, they're helping the company. When we ask me in terms of how did we get here, we never really know where we're going. And I still today, I still really don't. But I know what I don't like. My study as a scientist, uh, I love studying it. Unfortunately, I like interaction uh, and I like to be hands on and I like immediate result. I like to create. These are the things that I didn't realize at the time, but by doing it, it's allowed me to eliminate what I don't like. We would never know what we like to do, but we know for sure what we don't like. I went to science school as a microbiologist. I was happy because the training I received, it have taught me to be critical thinking. It taught me to build a path in order to get to where I need to be. It allowed me to form hypotheses. It asked me, it taught me to test and try, which is no different from running a business. 
or even from basic school. As we use a lot of technology in our process, we scan the body of our customer in order to get uh, the measurement in a consistent format. We also do hand measurement to ask a customer preference. For example, for the men, if I ask you one question, how would you like your jacket to be the length of the jacket? I can tell you it varies. It could be short, it could be long, depending on the style, depending on where they wear the pants, depending on where they're comfortable. Same thing if I ask you a question to a woman, where would you wear your skirt? I can tell you that you can wear from here, from here, or down to there. It all depends on the preference. Technology will not allow me to do that. But however, when we scan the body of a customer, we recreate a pattern, we drew the pattern, allow us to produce clothes. But technology is not only things, the mentality around technology need to be synced to technology. So we change the supply chain. We're not buying 10,000 of fabric. We will actually buy the fabric as what we need. If we need 5.3 meters to produce a suit, we will buy only 5.3. The people who draw the pattern will hand draw in such a way that they have to be precise. When we do that, we reduce the waste to the minimum. I don't want you to have a bad memory that yes, we came to see Canadian Kong as a brand and I want you to think that it was long, it was lengthy, it was complicated. We want to simplify things and I want you to feel welcome. I cannot tell you much in terms of what that Native Kong experience, but I have to tell you that I have to come experience yourself. But we're going to give you the time that you need. It is exclusive. We want to make sure you feel well taken care of and I need to be quick to the point because we are trying to build relationship with you not as a salesman, as a friend, as someone who can help you we're here, business need to solve a problem and we need to help for us, the experience, everything has been thought out in such a way that you're going to have a fantastic time I'm very proud when my customers uh, remember the story of the artist by heart. Uh, I think it happened a few times when uh, they actually remember the story and then a vocal about uh, the art piece that they wear. For example, if you don't mind, uh, the piece I'm wearing today is a piece coming from Les Impatients, the organization that helps patients with mental health. The artist that I'm wearing, his name is Norman Rivera. I'm piece number one. So um, he's a patient of mental health who went to unfortunately being admitted in a hospital for many years. And he go to the center to create his artwork and his artwork because he unable to walk for many years. So he, he wished, he dreamed to be able to walk again. Even looking to his art piece, you can tell that you can see the leg and arm there. For him, this expression is a legacy that he left behind. And I'm wearing that legacy. So my legacy it should be about the client, it should be about the artist, I'm just the mean to make that happen.